Hey geniuses, in this video I want to show you how you can use my library Lot Interactive inside of Squarespace and your Squarespace websites to get interactive and animated Lottie icons really quickly in your websites. Let's get started. So I just want to start off with showing what we're going to be making. So here I've got an animation playing on click, on hover, and then a morphing animation. And then this one's playing on show. And this is all done using Lottie Interactive. The GitHub page to Lottie Interactive will be in the description of this video. Let's get started with setting this up. Okay, so starting off with our blank website with no Lottie animations, we're actually going to head over into the advanced panel and then go into code injection. In here, in the header, we're going to link to the Lottie interactive script. So to find this uh, bit of code, you can have it over to Lottie Interactive and its GitHub page. And then you can grab it via unpackage. So you can just click this little copy button, head over into your header, and then paste it in there. Don't forget to save. OK. So now that that's done, that's actually going to load up the code behind Lottie Interactive so that your Lottie animations can work on your web page. Afterwards, I recommend using Lottie files to host your Lottie animations. And this is important because it gives us a URL and it just makes our lives a lot easier rather than hosting our files ourselves. So here we're going to grab uh, just this random animation because I like it and copy its Lottie animation URL and if you're not too sure just make sure it ends in .json that means that Squarespace will be able to actually load up the JSON file of your Lottie animation and if you're not sure what a Lottie animation is check out uh, my explainer video on my channel um, but now we're going to head into our website and start adding it. So here I'm just going to add a code block. And then using the HTML mode, paste, actually I'm not going to paste, sorry. I'm going to type Lottie interactive path. Which I'm going to close it off, sorry. I'm going to type in path then paste in our URL and then I'm just going to type interaction and this one's going to be on click so I'll just type interaction click and whilst you're editing you won't be able to interact with them uh, so just make sure you save and then you then you'll be able to interact with your animations so here I'm clicking and the animation is playing I'm just going to do a few more um, so here, actually, I'm just going to get uh, this one. This seems pretty good. So once again, grabbing the URL, doing another code block, typing Lottie interactive path interaction equals hover. Super simple and a really quick way to get Lottie animations onto your Squarespace website. And then for the last one, I just want to do a private animation. And so here I'm going into my private animation and this is a morphing animation. So the last frame is the halfway point of my animation. So it will play forward and then it'll play backwards when the cursor is released. That's a morphing animation quickly explained. But I'm just gonna grab the asset link and head down here, add another code block. Once again, Lottie interactive path, da -da, interaction morph. Okay, let's just double check all of these. So clicking, hovering, and morphing. That's working well. And if we could just grab that and drop it down there. Okay. So for the last animation I want to show is a play on show. So we're going to have this section down here. And as we scroll down, the animation is going to play. I'm also going to show you how you can center 
the animation inside of its block. So here I'm going to add a code block. Um, it's the same as the other ones. So do Lottie interactive path interaction play on show. Okay, there we go. So as we scroll down, it's playing. As you can see, my block is centered. However, my Lottie animation is not. And so to fix this, I'm actually going to wrap the Lottie interactive element inside of another div and apply some styling to this div. And I'm going to put margin auto. Okay, so it's margin auto and text align center, and that should center your lot animation. So here, if I go ahead and save it, so now that our website is saved up, um, we can just double check. So click, hover, morphing, and then if I scroll down here, our lot animation is playing as it shows on the screen. That was my quick video on how to use Lottie Interactive with Squarespace. Be sure to go ahead and check out the GitHub page to be aware of all the different interactions you can use with Lottie Interactive. There's a few more that I didn't show. There's also some cool stuff called attributes, which allow you to quickly modify things like the stroke color and stroke width of your Lottie animations um, without having to change any code or stuff in After Effects. There's also some nice stuff like changing the speed, the delays, and things like that. So yeah, definitely go check that out. And check out the SVGenia social media channels to stay up to date with updates of Lot Interactive. Otherwise, thank you for watching and get animating. Take care. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SVGenia YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lot Animations.